quickly go. Look at all these electronic equipments. I wonder what they are used for. Renny, all these are different parts of a computer. What? I thought only the keyboard, the mouse, the CPU and the monitor are parts of a computer. Actually, the keyboard, the monitor, the mouse and the CPU are the main parts of a computer. These equipments you see on the shelves are some other parts of a computer. Oh, really? Can you tell me what these parts are used for? Sure, Rini. But first, do you remember the functions of the main parts of a computer? Mm. Hmm. I think you need to refresh your memory. Let me tell you what the main parts of the computers are used for. Yes, please do. Let's start with the monitor. The monitor is also known as the VDU, which stands for Visual Display Unit. It looks like a television. The monitor displays whatever we type with the keyboard. The monitor also displays whatever we draw with the mouse. You can also watch movies or play games on the monitor. Look, Liko, these two monitors look very different from each other. Yes, Rini. Nowadays, monitor comes in different shapes and sizes. There are basically two different types of monitors, CRT and LCD. And this is the keyboard. Yes, I know that. The keyboard is used for typing text, numbers and special characters on the computer. Yes, Reddy. The keyboard has many buttons on it, which are called keys. Different keys have different function. Yes, I remember that a standard keyboard has 104 keys. Very right, Renny. This is the system unit. It contains the CPU. Do you remember what CPU stands for, Renny? Yes, CPU means Central Processing Unit. Right, Renny. Whatever you type through the keyboard or do with the mouse goes to the CPU. The CPU processes it and sends the results on the monitor. Let us now discuss about the mouse. You probably know that the mouse is a pointing device. Yes, Clico. I know that the mouse is used to point out the items present on the computer screen. Right, Renny. The mouse has two or three buttons on top and a sensor at the bottom. A long wire attaches the mouse to the CPU. Nowadays, wireless mouse is also available. Why is there a light under the mouse clicker? That is the optical sensor, Renny. It detects the mouse movement. Earlier, there used to be a ball inside the mouse instead of an optical sensor. Okay, so these are the main parts of the computer. Now, can you tell me... What all those devices are used for, Clico? Sure, Renny. These are the speakers. They help us to listen to recorded music, songs, speech or other sounds. And these? They are headphones. By using them, you can hear the sound generated by your computer without disturbing others. Is this a printer, Clico? Yes, Renny. This is a printer. It is used for printing the work done on a computer, on a sheet of paper. Some printers print only in black and white, while some others can print in color. What is this device, Clico? This is a scanner. It can read words, pictures or numbers printed on a sheet of paper and changes them into form that a computer can understand. This is an UPS, right? Yes, it is an UPS, 
which stands for uninterrupted power supply. Inside it, there is a battery which store electrical power. I remember. The UPS is used for keeping the computer on for a few minutes if there is a sudden power cut. Yes, Rennie. By this way, we can save the work that we are doing. Look, Liko. I have seen this device earlier. Artists used to sing or talk while holding them to people. Yes, Rennie. That is a microphone. How is it used in a computer? A microphone is used to record voice, music and sound into the computer. It is sometimes called a mic or mic. Hey, isn't that what they call a joystick? Yes, that is a joystick. It is used to control movement of objects on a computer. It is used for playing games on a computer. What is this object, Liko? That is a modem. It is used to connect a computer to the internet. And what about this? That is a web camera. It is used to capture pictures and video images from outside and store them into the computer. It is simply referred to as webcam. What are these round disks? They are called CDs or DVDs. They can store information for the computer. What does CD and DVD stands for, Clicko? CD stands for compact disk. And DVD stands for digital versatile disk. These are pen drives, aren't they, Clicko? Yes. Rennie, they are pen drives. Pen drives are also storage devices. Pen drives can store more information than CD or DVDs. Now that we have come to the end of the shelf, I hope you will remember about all these devices. Yes, Liko. I now know so much about different devices used with a computer. Thank you for your help, Liko.